Um, every big city at some point downtown had them. What are you doing? Are you filming this? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get natural. Get natural. natural. Oh, we're stuff. getting natural here. Okay. Natural. Well, what I was saying was, I, I found it very strange. Like, and and the the worst part was talking about turkey. When I was just there, so yeah, I never really filmed this or anything, but the pizza chain Sabaro and Burger King, obviously, those two. First obviously of all, obviously Burger King. I don't know. Well, I don't have to explain it. Everybody knows what Burger King is. Um. <laughs> I, I first of all, I didn't know that if the, I don't know if still those two are connected, like if they're owned by the same company or what. But you just found them everywhere and always together. Like all the airports in Turkey had it. Um, they're the, so many. The border crossing um, between Turkey and Bulgaria, they had it. It was almost set up like a rest stop, and they had both of those, like basically, you know, side by side. It was very bizarre. And the worst part was. A in Ataturk Airport, the main airport in Istanbul. Do you know what a long chicken sandwich thingy meal costs? What does a long chicken sandwich thingy meal cost? About eighteen Turkish lira, which is about twelve dollars. That's awful. A little over twelve dollars in That's the airport. Terrible. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Bottle of water in the airport about four dollars. The airport. I've never seen a more expensive airport. Never. Watch out. Gotta hit those duty free shops. Weak. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's true. I like to stop at the duty free shop. I like to stop at the duty free shop. I like to stop at the duty free shop. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, uh,. Burger King Spar, I don't get it. And Spar's Pizza, it wasn't the same. It yeah. was like this... I don't even know if I've ever had it. It's, it's pretty good. It's like, um... Remember the Roman Delight place that used to be in Manassas Mall? Yeah. Kind of like that. It was alright. Big, like, big New York fat slices, you know? Yeah. Like this stuff like over there... Pizza. The stuff over there wasn't like that. Like, it was okay. It was, it, it was good. But it wasn't like these real big pieces, and it wasn't like, I, and it, I don't know, it just wasn't the same. It just tasted like. How common? This is a question I'm sure a lot of people have. How common is turkey in Turkey? I eat turkey in Turkey. So the, it's a common dish people do eat um, turkey. In. No, it didn't seem like it. It seemed like the only time really you ate turkey anywhere was a deli meat style turkey, mm-hmm. like not. You know, you don't actually... Not Thanksgiving style. Right. Uh, turkey was on the menu. Apparently, I guess the Ottomans, um, a lot of the sultans and stuff, uh, turkey would be, uh, along with lamb and um, chicken and things like that, turkey would be a thing occasionally that they would eat. So, like, at the restaurant there, uh, it's right next to the Church of St. Savior and Cora on the outskirts of the city. It's called Acetane or Acetane or something like that. Um... They had that sort of stuff on the menu, but other than that, the other place I had it was cold cuts. So if you were to, if you were to ask somebody, uh, can I, can I buy turkey? They wouldn't. There would be any confusion. I don't think they'd think you're talking about the country they live in. Be confused about it. That's good. There are, are you know, there are a lot of rich people. None of them probably could afford turkey. Like, even Mr. Bill Gates, he, I think turkey costs more than he has, so... Like, what would turkey cost? What do you think it would run you if you were to buy turkey? Probably a couple trill. Maybe a couple trill, really? Probably. That's a, that's a big price tag. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a fairly if industrial you were, What would you sell it for? It's a good question. If I just bought the country of turkey, what would I sell it for? <laughs> mm, quite a question. Couldn't sell it for less than you paid. <laughs> God, you're so gay. <laughs> no offense to our gay viewers, but he is really gay. There's no gay viewers. <laughs> There's no viewers. <laughs> right. There have to be viewers to be gay viewers. Ah, uh, uh, God. There would have to be viewers to be gay. By the way, start clicking on some of my goddamn travel videos. It's embarrassing to me that some of them have been up for three weeks and they've gotten one hit per week they've been up. 
so embarrassing. <laughs> it's like I take these and I'm like, this is so great. Like, this is going to be, this is, people are going to like this. And then it's like, no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit at all. It's bad. That's, that's the way it goes. I don't have it. I don't have the gift. No, it's lost in some people. It's okay. I'm I'm helping. I'm helping you. God, I'm one of these helping days you I... achieve achieve glory. I am just gonna kill you one of these days. I think my head's cut off. I feel like my head's cut off over here. I don't think it is. No, I feel like it is. It just doesn't seem you know. It seems like it should be, but I don't think it is. It doesn't seem right, does it? I think it's in there. And even if it's not, they, no one's missing much. Yeah, I'll give you that. I got a weird looking head, this one. So here's an interesting thing that happened that was a little bit scary. We were on the bus from Sofia, Bulgaria to Istanbul. Mm -hmm. And it's a Turkish owned bus and everything. And we're about an hour and a half or so outside of Sophia, so we'd left, you know, about an hour and a half previously. And we go through this tunnel that's probably a mile and a half underground. As soon as we pull out, there's this little police stand. Of course, I can't speak Bulgarian or anything, so I don't know what's going on, but this, the police guys wave the bus over. So I'm thinking, what the, oh God, what the hell is this? I don't know what they do. I don't know if they do random searches. I don't know what they do. So at first, I'm just like, okay, they're just going to, like, check. Like, say, you know, you were going too fast. Let me see your driver's license. Whatever. We're there for about 20 minutes. Guys just... I mean, they, they keep back and forth with the police officers. And it's, like, sort of seeming to get, like, tense. Like, the bus drivers are getting obviously frustrated. And they're having to go through all this paperwork and stuff and give it to the police officer. And so, it's getting to the point where, like... Like, I don't know what they're doing, obviously. So, it's getting to the point where, obviously, in my head, I'm thinking, what the fuck is going on? Like, are they going to have us get all of our luggage out and have to search through all of it? What is, what is going to happen? And, you know, it turns out after another ten, five or ten minutes or whatever, we got to go and everything. But, you know, you're sitting there thinking, like, you hear about all this corruption in the Eastern Europe, especially Bulgarian places like that, and you're just sitting there thinking, oh, my God, is this really going to happen? How can this really happen? I mean, the chances of it happening to me, this can't, and obviously it didn't, but... It was just very, it was very, not, it wasn't scary, but it was very just, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> Your bag. <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to think about the story goes, please pull us over, didn't do anything, said go on your merry way. I like it. I think it's solid. God. It's a good story. I really am going to kill you sooner rather than later. I think it's a solid story. You should probably write a book. It should probably... <laughs> it should be published immediately. So you remember that little factoid you told me? You're all, you've always been nice. You've never been mean to anybody. That comment right there. Now your nice streak is gone. No, that wasn't mean. What did I say? What did I say? What, was, what did I say that was mean? It was me. <laughs> what, you told a crappy story? That's, that's me? I mean, you went through such detail and nothing even happened in the story. You're a real jerk. <laughs> I'm mad at you. I can't help that your stories stink. That. So what's the deal on YouTube if, uh... So if you took that camera and you were trying to make... Did you put it up your ass? No. If you took the camera and you did, like, I, obviously if you didn't have ads and stuff like that, it'd be a different story. But if you did, and technically you're getting money for it, what would be the situation if you turned it to the TV right there? You would not supposed to be putting ads on it. You were technically you're not even supposed to be posting it. That's what I figure. Because it's copyrighted material. Yeah. But I assume if you're posting it and you're not making any money off of it, about the worst they're going to do is just say, take this down. Right. That would be the worst. They would take it down. I had one of my videos 
got uh, taken down. But one of my old ones. Really? It was when I, I did a really goofy video where I played guitar along to jump on it. You know that song? Yeah. Oh, right. Dun, 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 dun. dun. And uh, it's the, the Prince, Prince of L.A. thing. Where right, like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good song, good tune, good track. You, but, got, you got taken down. But that got taken down, yeah. Because I was basically, as opposed to all my other videos, I was actually, it was just, I was just playing the song and playing along to the actual song. Oh, so, oh, as opposed oh, to, oh, I so there was no, a new you didn't track. read, right, yeah. right. So, that's what happened there. Huh. I mean, it's very, but did you monetize it or no? No. And they still took it down. I don't understand why in that situation. I mean, if you're not making any money off it, isn't it free advertisement, if anything, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I mean... It's very weird. Yeah, I mean, there really is no... I mean, but I guess... Are they thinking that maybe you're going to get more popular and therefore make money off of it? I guess Like, indirectly? Right. Like, like, you doing the cover of it or using it could... You know, make you more popular and blah blah blah. But yeah, that's sort of weird. I mean, well, because it's not like if someone actually wants to listen to the song, they're gonna be satisfied with what they're listening to on the video. Right. It's. I don't know. That's very strange. I think also. I mean, if they had heard the actual song and were looking for it, which. I don't really know how else you could mistake. I mean, I'm sure you, the title on it was you, like, well, probably, what, you put me playing Jump On It or something like that, I'm sure. Yeah, something like that. It's like, I don't know how you'd mistake that. Right. Like, you obviously know the song to be watching this video. Right. Pretty weird. Boom. 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 Boom.